Hello everybody, this is Mr. Pacheco speaking to you all at home trying to help you draw a human eye. Many of you already have drawn this before in, in art classes. So masters, especially OGs, don't despair. Don't despair. So, the symbolic eye looks a little bit like this. It looks a little bit like this. Like a curve and another curve here. Doesn't matter. We're going to plan our drawings. It's one of our rules. Doesn't matter. So, one of the rules, OGs, you remember? The, the iris of the eye is always touching one of the lines, maybe this line, maybe this line, but the iris is never, it's never floating. The iris is never floating on the eye, only when the, when the person is very scared, very surprised, is the iris floating. The iris normally is touching one of the edges. The superior edge is the most normal, in which we are going to position the iris. All right, so let's continue. So we start with a semi-symbolic shape here, and then another curve here. Right, then we're going to do the upper, the upper lid, eyelid, right? If you see, it's almost the same angle as this line. And then we're going to do the lower lid, something like this. It can change, doesn't matter. And finally, we're going to do the eyebrow. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can have many, many different shapes. Right? All right. Now, here we're going to do a little bit, a little circle here. That's the lacrim lacrimary gland. It's the thing that produces tears. And we're going to do a little bit, a little trick here. We're going to erase one part of this. This is going to be our light. It's going to be like this. We're going to do the pupil, but the pupil is going to be eaten in a place. Pupils are always black. Right? And then we're going to continue and we're going to imagine an ellipse here. And then we're going to do a gradient. Gradient Gradients are my favorite things. I hope you're watching here, Gradient Master, because you're gonna have fun with these gradients. A gradient, we do it like this. We start, we start strong, and then we continue medium, and then we finish light. That's a gradient. Gradient. So, let's do a gradient here. We start dark. We keep it medium. And then we try to be as light as possible here. I am using a 6B pencil, which is the boldest pencil that I have with me. So, Pencil, pencil hardness is very important. We have, oh, sorry, F in the middle, and we have H, I don't know, like six H on top. And then on, bo on the bottom, we have like six B, something like four B and second B. And we can have like second A. 2H or 4H, something like that. Maybe you maybe you get the idea. This is the hardest. The hardest pencil. 
when you draw with that pencil, it's very thin. It's like a mechanical pencil. F is like in the middle. Two, this is like the school pencils that we normally use. School pencils are no, number two, they're called. Sometimes school pencils are number two B or number two HB, which is kind of like an F. It's kind of weird, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that if you want a pencil that draws very dark, you choose one that has the letter B. If you want to uh, draw very, very fine lines, very small details, you can use a pencil that has the letter H. H for hard, B for bold. All right, let's continue with this eye. What we can do is, all right, it looks good, but it needs something more. Let's add some shading. It's not the same as shadow. This is shading. Let's just do a few lines. But these lines, guys, don't draw them bold. Don't draw them bold because we're going to smudge them. Draw them like if they were sketch lines, not bold. Just on the just make them scratch the paper lightly. Don't don't push the paper too much because otherwise they're not going to smudge. They're going to be too pushed into the paper. So just go like this a little bit. And actually, you know what? We can do that also inside the eye. Because let me tell you one thing, guys. In a drawing, white should be reserved only for light. Okay, let's continue. What was I? Oh, yes, to smudge. As I was saying to you a few days ago, try not to use your fingers for smudging. It's, it's, it's something that's, that you're going to feel like doing, but it's not the best. I'm gonna use a regular kitchen napkin to smudge this kitchen napkin. And there you go, look at this, beautiful. It's gonna need quite some pressure, but it doesn't matter. Please, please be patient, be patient. Patient master, I know you're, you're listening to this, you know, you know what to do. And can you see this? This is smudging quite beautifully. And once you smudge it, don't worry about the lines. You can go over the lines again. Doesn't matter. Once you smudge it, you can go over the darkest lines. Only draw the things that you want to be super dark. Like the pupil, like the blackness, like the eyebrow. And then you can do the magic of the magic of light. We're going to do that with our trusty eraser. Just lightly tap on the places you want to be light. And there you go, we're going to be light. All right, there's one more thing to go to do, and that is the eyelashes and I know that for many of you it's kind of difficult so I'm gonna show you my secret for eyelashes what people normally do for eyelashes is this but that is symbolic and we know that we are going to try to be not symbolic right so 
what do we do? We do we, what we do is this. We have our eye. We're going to try to make, to make uh, eyelashes go like this. But Mr. Pacheco, how do you do that? Well, it is a little bit like this. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't notice, or maybe you do, I don't know. Maybe you don't notice, but there is a thing going on here. Let me show you. It goes like this. I'm gonna show you in red so you can see it. There is a shape that looked like this and the eyelashes follow that shape. It's a shape that is a little bit like a comet. A little bit like this, like a comet. Imagine that there's a ball of light cursing through space, right? A comet. Although comets are actually uh, big chunks of ice that are attracted to the gravity of the sun, but let's just imagine that they are balls of flames. They are not balls of flames, they are balls of ice. All right, so why a comet? Like this again. We have our symbolic eye. Well, let's try not to make it symbolic. And we imagine a comet wrapping around this shape. And inside that, we're going to do a curve like this, and then another curve like this, another curve like this, and like this, and like this. The curves that I draw inside the comet are going to be like the sun, like this. They're not going to be parallel. They're going to be radial. Radial, which means in a circle. That's good. Parallel. That's not good. So, when we draw the eyelashes, let's make them into a circle that also draws a comet. Let's not make it like parallel lines. Not even like straight radial lines, because that's symbolic again. All right, let's do it. Let's stand it aside. We imagine the comet here, and we start the comet. I'm not even scared of the lines, because I've done this so many times. But it doesn't matter if you, if you make a mistake at first, you can draw many eyes. Eyes are super fun to draw. And the eyelashes, try, try to make them a little messy. And very importantly, be bold. Don't, don't tremble when you draw the eyelashes. Just make a line like this. A sure, confident line. Not a squiggly line. Not a short, small line. The small lines are for the lower eyelashes. That look a little bit like this. Doesn't matter. Lower eyelashes are not as important. In drawing, in real life, they are important because they keep dust away from your eyes. So this is the eye that I drew for you guys. Then my artistic signature. There you go. Here you are. Well, masters, your assignment for today is to draw an eye that looks exactly like this one. All right. I trust that you will get something not only like this, but even better. Well, masters, see you on Tuesday online. Keep safe, keep your hands clean, keep those artist's hands free of bacteria, and, well, have fun. See you soon, guys. Thanks for coming.